Hey yo, what's going on everybody, it's Tyler, it's like a Ty Killington, yeah, alright, so, the new Night Shark is out, uh, I want to get this video to you as soon as I can, it's not that long, it's like less than 5 minutes, it is a full performance review, or full review with armament and stuff like that, and my recommendation, or my opinions on whether or not you should buy it, uh, and this is, uh, you know, take it for what it's worth, Rockstar's kind of done it again, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I, well, just, just watch the video, you'll see, you'll see, anyways. So it's in Warstock Cash and Carry. It's where you can go by. It's one million two hundred forty-five thousand. Not that bad. It's not that bad, really. It isn't. Um, you know, but if you're if you're strapped for cash, you know, I mean, still in the in the game today, one point two five or one point two four five million is still a lot of money. So here it is. Uh, there's a special moment in the life of every billionaire when you realize that everyone else is trying to kill you and steal from you, and when the time comes, you want a vehicle built exclusively to cater to that paranoid <laughs> delusion. Enter the Night Shark, where you can sit in perfect comfort behind tinted sniper-proof glass as the filthy hordes press against your armored hull, pull the trigger on the dual machine guns, and then the car does all the work for you. Okay, so we're going to test that out, the sniper-proof glass, here in just a moment. Uh, you can pick different kind of colors. So it is a personal vehicle. It's not Pegasus. You can just call it whenever you want to. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about going to a particular location. It is yours. You can sell it. Uh, for you know, 50% of the price or whatever, 60%, whatever it is. It's a, yeah, it's 50%. I think of whatever you put into it. So you can do all that with it if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna go through the customization real quick. It's best to customize it inside your MOC if you have an MOC, because you, then you have all the liveries and things like that. Uh, but if you do not have an MOC, you can still customize it inside of uh, Los Santos Customs. You got grill options. Pretty much all the options for the armor or for the uh, the cosmetics are like. Uh, you know, you've got your primary color, you got secondary color, and then you have just black, you know, so I chose to go something a little bit tacky, a little kind of ugly, uh, the spray camo, white, I wanted to keep it a white color or whatnot, put the armor on the outside, that plating doesn't really do anything for it, that, not that I've noticed anyways, here's the sniper proof glass, right, it is not sniper proof glass, honestly, like the second shot penetrated and it was hitting through the, the to the rear window, um, and it only took a few rounds just to penetrate the glass in its entirety. So if you're driving around, and remember, if you have uh, the windows not covered, if there's no armor plating, you can use, you know, you can throw stickies, you can throw, you know, your, um, uh, you can shoot your guns and stuff like that, everything. But if you have the armor plating on there, you cannot. You can only use the vehicle's guns, the little machine guns on the front. So you sacrifice, and we'll, we'll test that in just a minute. Takes, uh, what, four or five, yeah, four RPGs right there, and it's done. Um, this is the fifth one right here, so the fifth one blows it up. But, uh, you know, that's that's okay. It's no big deal. It's the same as kind of like an insurgent. So here uh, I was testing against, you know, I'm real big about making money. So I wanted to test against NPCs, the sniper-proof glass without the armor plating on the windows. And it's garbage. I mean, it was a three-star wanted level and almost immediately. So here's with the armor plating on the glass. And remember, you can't shoot out if you have the armor plating on. And the NPCs were able to penetrate that very easily as well. And, you know... Now, it may be a little bit harder for a uh, for an actual player to penetrate that, but really it's not going to make that much of a difference. Um, so, you got that right there. Now, there is a couple of good things with it. It does have good, it's got good speed. Uh, I couldn't race it. Uh, it's it's an off-road class vehicle, but it was not available in the off-road class. Uh, so, you know, there's that. You can't use it in a race that I know of. I'm sure Bruffy will have a way he can test it, but if you can't use it, I mean, what's the point, really? But it is a fast car. Uh, I would say it's on par with like, you know, the Duke of Death, the Karuma, the Insurgent, and stuff like that. Um, the front mounted machine guns are pretty much useless. Uh, it does have good ramming capability, but, you know, that's alright. Uh, I don't know why you just want to hit every car anyways. But uh, my overall recommendation for this vehicle, man, don't don't spend the money on it. It's, it's not worth it. It really is. It's a cool looking car. It's got some cool, you know, uh, customized that you can. You can tow. You can tow like the little um, anti-missile trailer or whatever, but it's not worth it, man. Stick with a Karuma or a Duke of Death or even if it's Insurgent if you have it because uh, it's really no different than that. And I, I prefer the Karuma and the Duke of Death versus NPCs and against real players. So there you have it. Hope you subscribe to my channel for the Ills Reels content of the game. Make sure you smash your main as well as that like button. Stay dangerous. See you in the next one. Peace. Out.